some questions though when master is ready okay tell me tell me so the first question is because of the ascension of king charles the third some yeah. people protest that they don't want the king to rule over them yeah. what does master think about people protesting oh they have the right to protest of course they have the right to express their, their opinion because england is a free country yes but they should think England is one of the best countries in the world to live in, king or not, right? Yes, 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 Master. And it could be due to the monarchy that England has been very stable and respected by other countries in the world. You know, Her Majesty the Queen of England just left the war and all the leaders in the world came to pay their respect. Yes, yes that's right. Yes. Yeah. No individual motorcades, but coaches to ferry even the world's princes and presidents, ensuring arrivals ran like clockwork. The emperor and empress of Japan, for whom funeral appearances are rare because of their Shinto faith, shared a bus with the king and queen of Bhutan. Has there ever been a world event where such thought must have gone into the seating arrangements of so many foreign dignitaries and royal families coming to pay their respects to the Queen? Leaving Westminster Abbey, the rare sight of royalty waiting for a bus and forming a queue. But a sign of the global reverence commanded by Queen Elizabeth II amongst the world leaders who came together to lay her to rest. All of them, and even Putin also wanted to come. They did met him. And uh, I saw it on the news that one of uh, his allies called in front of the Queen's uh, coffin and they protested. They filmed about it. Yeah. So these people, if they want to protest, I didn't see a lot anyway, but of course they can express their opinion. But if they don't like England, they don't like the Queen, they could go somewhere else, they could immigrate. You know, nowadays you can immigrate anywhere. Yes. 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 If they think some other country is better without king, then they can go. Maybe they prefer Russia. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they should live under Putin then. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Huh? Not a good idea. No. <laughs> For example, you think they like that? No. 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 Okay. Maybe King Charles, of course. Humanly speaking, is not perfect in their eyes, but he's not the worst leader in the world, don't you think? No, no master. master, he is not. By the way, he's just symbolic, and he doesn't mess with the political system of England. English people decide for themselves who manages their affairs, their votes, and their parties that choose leaders. Yeah. Yes. yes, Master. So. They should not uh, worry about King Charles too much. And now that the Queen has just left the world, they should show some more sympathy, be more supportive, so that he has the strength to think well and to do good things in their interest. Don't you think? Yes, yes, yes master. master. What is your opinion? Well, um, there were also a couple of pen signing incidences. When he was formally proclaimed as King Charles III, when signing the important document, he seemed to mm. get upset that the ink tray was not in the correct position. Mm. And he signaled for someone to quickly move it. He said, mm. the servants should have to move these things. I am not to be expected to move these things. Mm. So is, is it the servants' fault that these things happen? You know, this is a price to pay when you depend on other people to work for you. You can't always have things the way you want. First of all, I would not use the word servant if I were you. 
okay? Because we all serve. They serve, but they are not servants. Servants nowadays, in terms of the way they use servants, is very degrading for humans. Do you understand me? Yes, yes, yes Master. Master. That's true. We all serve. And the king is a bigger servant than all of them because he has to serve all the people of his country if he gets the concept right. Yeah. Yes. Uneasy are the heads that bear the crown. Okay? Yes. 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 We all have problems. And being the king is not an enviable position to me. It's a lot of responsibility, a lot, a lot, a lot of trouble to wait in. And of course, like the Buddha said, no one will absolutely be 100% blamed or praised. Everyone in this world, one way or another, one day or another, will be blamed or will be praised, but not always completely either side. See what I'm saying? Yes, yes, yes master. master. So, you see, I think it's the queen's fault. Oh. oh. Not the servant's fault, not the prince's fault. Some people say, oh, that's how we know how he treats his servants. It's not like that. Maybe he didn't treat his so-called servants that way before. It's just because the queen, a sudden death, that throws everybody into disarray mentally. Do you understand me? Oh. Yes, oh. Master. yes, Master. All of them love the queen. All the workers in the royal household love the queen. And they have been serving the prince for decades already. So he has never complained. It's just that this time, they're all very, very sad, very sorrowful. So they probably forget what to do for the right thing. You see what I'm saying? Yes, yes, yes master. master. That's the number one thing. Number two, they have never done this before. This is the first time they have to prepare a tray for the prince to sign such important documents. Yes. Once in his lifetime. Yes, that's right. So they're just all confused. Right, yes, yes that's true. And too sad to, to even put their mind together. They're just humans. And it's not the, the prince's fault either. Of course, he just loves his mother, his most beloved mother. Yes, Master. Yes. And he has no time to even mourn her or anything. He, he's not allowed to. He has to immediately take on the most responsible position in England. And in his heart, he's pain. Understand me? He pains. He cries. Yes. And somehow, he feels like he needs everyone to be his father and mother to make up for mm -hmm. his loss. He just lost his father as well, not long ago. Yes. Remember? Yes. Yes, that's yes. yes, that's true. His royal highness, Prince Philip, also just left the world not long ago. And now he lost his mother. So he's become an orphan, you know, and he feels like there's a big emptiness in his life. And somehow, unconsciously, he tried to grab everybody's love and affection for him to fill that gap. Right, yes. yes. Understand, Master. I know that because I lost my parents. Of course, I never told you this, but it's not like, it's not like I'm a stone or something. And least of all, King Charles the third. Yes, yes, yes Master. Master. He has been loved, pampered, and spoiled in the arms of his parents. And suddenly he lost, you know, one after another like that. <laughs> his sorrow broke out as a temper. Do you understand me? Yes, 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 yes Master. He felt so lost, so helpless. And he expected unconsciously that the people around him would understand that and would give him all the care to minus detail, all the love that they would show him to make up for what he lost somehow. Yeah. Yes. But the so-called servants, you know, they also lost themselves because the queen died. You see what I'm saying? Yes. 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 No, sir. Both of them are in need. Both of them are in trouble. And both cannot help each other. That's the only problem. Okay? Yes. Yes. There's nobody fault because they love the queen too much. Right. And when you love somebody too much and you lose them, then you're in big trouble. You cannot think straight. You understand that or not? Yes, yes master. 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 To my darling mama, as you begin your last great journey to join my dear late papa, 
I want simply to say this. Thank you. Thank you for your love and devotion to our family and to the family of nations you have served so diligently all these years. May flights of angels sing thee to thy rest. Okay, now, any other questions before I keep going? <laughs> yes, Master. What would you call people who work for you in your household then? <laughs> Did you ever hear me call them servants? No, no Master. Master. Okay. Well, Lynn Winterstead, one of the celebrity singers in Hollywood, she even proclaimed that when um, somebody asked French. her, she, she said, yeah, I serve them. I brought food to them from the kitchen. I had no servant. Remember that? Remember that uh, in Cancun, before they were singing on the stage, I invited them to my uh, hotel room and served them some food and talked to them. Because I love artists. Yes. Yes. I love her. I'm calling her Mommy Heart. We, we had a, a special treat to meet her. Um, I guess a brunch. And she had us up to her room. and. Uh, she cooked for us. I mean, it was a spread of food, and there's so much more backstage that she brought and wants everybody to take a bag of food home. So she's, um, she's quite remarkable. She really is. Mommy Heart, I love you. It was an honor to meet her. My consciousness is, is elevated. It really is. I met her this morning for the first time, and she actually served as lunch. It's not like she had servants or something. She's wonderful. She's like a mother. She's an earth mother to the world, and she was that same way with us as she was here tonight. That's that's pretty terrific when you can be with a few people or you could be with hundreds of people and have that warmth and have that sincerity and have that love. She's a great lady, great example for the world. I hope our future is in her dreams and in our dreams and that we have a better, safer, cleaner world. Not because they sang on that occasion. They sang for the people who came, the IPs and all the people who came to that hotel that day for the green ceremony to give some green awards to some people who are champions for a vegan and green world. Remember that in Cancun? Yes. Yes. Not because they came and trained for our invited party, but because I love them. And I was so happy to have a chance to even see them. So I invited them to my room and gave them whatever food we had at that time. And they were so happy. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> she said she has no servants, meaning Master has no servants. Anyway, I call them my helpers, my assistants. You heard that many times, right? Yes, 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 yes Master. master. And mostly they don't work in my household anyway. They work for dogs. <laughs> 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 so even if I need them sometimes to help me carry heavy stuff, that I cannot do alone. I have to wait. Because I say, oh, we are with the dogs now. We are feeding the dogs. We are taking the dogs out. We are uh, making sure the dogs are comfortable. Uh, could you please wait? <laughs> <laughs> So what would I do? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> I will wait, ma'am. No, I will wait, sir. <laughs> yeah, often I make jokes with it. I never call him servants. My God, I don't remember, so. I don't remember ever saying that. Did you ever hear me say that? No, no sir. sir. Yeah, when I talk to you about them, I say they are dog managers or dog caretakers. <laughs> <laughs> Dog uh, protectors, dog guardians, but I never call them so. I don't dare. I never think about that. I never think about that word to give them. I, I never thought like that because they are children of God. How dare I say anything like that? Huh? Yes, master. Yes, master. There are no servants in this world. They are only children of God assigned to different duties to keep the world functioning. Understand me? Hmm? Understand. Yes, yes master. master. Suppose the king rules England. 
or any king rules for any country without any of these so-called servants. Can they even rule? No, no master. master. Oh, I don't know. Maybe they can. <laughs> <laughs> Not as well. <laughs> Maybe they can. <laughs> they have to be retrained in the opposite direction of the way they have been trained to be. Yes, yes Master. Like, for example, Prince Charles, do not blame him too much. He has been trained differently. He has been groomed to be the king. And in the old tradition, the king rules the country. Okay, the top, number one, over everybody else. And the king's order, everybody has to obey. And everyone has to work for the king, not vice versa. Yeah? But they forget the king also has to work. It's just different jobs. Yes, master. Yes, master. Have you ever dreamed of a place far away from it all? Where the air you breathe is soft and clean, children play is a dream. Where the sounds of guns never power your dreams. 